What's going on, fam? Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. We back at it once again because apparently Daphne Joy is not happy. She is not happy about the, I guess, joke that uh, was put out there by 50 Cent. 50 Cent has been making fun of this situation. And I told y'all I have no problem with that because Diddy did this to himself at the end of the day. Diddy didn't want to pay people. Diddy treated people horribly. They sue him, he loses, or he lost one situation, and now he has this other situation, and all of a sudden, uh, we're acting like this is a conspiracy. Well, Daphne Joy, and, and again, I spoke about Daphne Joy in my most recent video. I'll link that in the description box. Daphne Joy is dealing with a situation where she's being outed as an alleged sex worker in Little, uh, Little Rod's lawsuit. And she, she's not happy about it. She's not happy about it. And uh, she had some words. Not only did she have some words and is denying it because apparently 50 Cent could be looking into pursuing full custody. And I don't blame him. I really don't. Because we don't know what their situation is behind the scenes. She could be very difficult to deal with. We don't know. But apparently she's triggered. She's posting video clips showing herself crying. She's trying to accuse uh, 50 Cent of abuse and other things, all because 50 Cent decided to make a joke and also could be pursuing custody. Let me tell you this, Daphne. If you are, in fact, in this type of re situation shit with Diddy, 50 Cent has every right to pursue custody of his child. Just like if he was dealing with unsavory people, you wouldn't want your children in that environment. So him pursuing full custody is him taking, you know, because again, you know, there's a chance that Daphne could be brought into this situation where she will have to lawyer up. She's already threatening I guess to counter sue or not counter sue, but to sue Lil Rod, right? For putting her in his paperwork. But the thing is, she's been in that paperwork for however long it's been trending and she hasn't said one word. But as soon as people start making fun of her, now all of a sudden now she wants to speak out. She wants to speak out because people are making fun of her. But when you sign a when you sign a contract with the devil, uh, nothing good happens. And again, I'm not calling Diddy the devil per se, but he's a very unsavory person reportedly and allegedly. Okay. We're going to get into this <clears throat> because, um, she's making claims as you can see here. This is, you know, this is being posted this is going viral. Um, you know, she's, <clears throat> she's upset. <clears throat> I think she's upset at the wrong person. You dealt with a man who has a horrible reputation for how he deals with people, especially women. And you dealt with him anyway. That's why little Rod has you in his suit. And you haven't said anything up until now because people are making fun of you. Let's get into this article from page six. It says model Daphne joy is emphatically denying the scathing allegation made in Sean Diddy Combs' bombshell lawsuit that she was once the rap mogul's worker. So says, I'm deeply hurt by the lies in the Rodney Jones lawsuit. The influencer who shares a child with 50 Cent began in an Instagram story Thursday. The claim, <laughs> I guess, that she's a sex worker is 100% false in character assassination. You know, I never said you were a, a sex worker, um, Daphne. I said that you were a paid concubine basically you're a paid concubine you know you're paid to be diddy's concubine so we could say theoretically that you're not a worker but you're his personal <laughs> personal concubine and you're paid to be there because you ain't you ain't hanging around diddy for free and we know that you're dealing with diddy because we see how intense 50 is going at diddy how tense, intensely he's going at him. So we know that you're dealing with him currently. You've just kept a very low profile. You don't post any photos or any posts of where you're at, you know, but we, but 
people know that you're dealing with them. 50 knows you're dealing with them. That's why he's seeking full custody of his son. And he has every right to. As you see, this is the post here. It says she's retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Good luck with that. She posted this is a video of her. She was crying, I guess, a, a, a story. So I wouldn't wish this on any woman. God hears me. And that's all that matters. Y'all love using God at the wrong time. You should have used discernment and God when you were hanging around Diddy and being paid to be his paid concubine, allegedly. Joy, who's 37, concluded by sharing that she is considering pursuing legal actions against because of the claims. Said that she was retaining a lawyer. I went through all that. Joy also shared a video of herself in a separate Instagram story in which she appeared to be crying and shaking her head no. Went through all of that. This is because of this guy. Okay. You're hanging around this guy and he has a horrible reputation, especially when it comes to women. You, you hang around him anyway. You accept his money. And let me say this about Lil Rod. Lil Rod is the feds. I think Lil Rod went undercover. I really do. I think that he might have been sent there as an agent because he gathered so much information. Under Diddy's nose. See, Diddy thought that he was taking advantage of Lil Rod. But in reality, Lil Rod lured this dude to make a lot of mistakes. Because Diddy and his degenerate behavior, he just couldn't, he couldn't help himself, right? If you are anybody new around him, he's going to want to sleep with you. That's not good, Diddy. Nobody's lying. I don't see anybody's lying. Because obviously, Lil Rod could be lying in his lawsuit. But again, that's what investigations are for. And they are conducting an investigation on Diddy to see if any of the allegations are true. That's what they are doing. And the thing with Daphne is this, Daphne. You got involved with a guy that has a horrible, horrible reputation. And instead of you understanding that, you decide that you want to go at 50. You want to blame him. You want to make certain allegations about him. And we're going to get into those allegations because, again, I, I really hope that people understand that women like her, when they get caught up, what do they do? They make al allegations because you done caught them. It's just like when, when a woman cheats, you catch her cheating, she'll say, well, you were cheating. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got information you were cheating. You cheated first, right? Or in a divorce, you got women who think when, when they realize that they're probably going to lose, what do they do? They go and they make accusations. Like she's trying to make accusations about 50 Cent abusing her. These are allegations because she's looking horribly, looking horrible publicly. But Daphne, you made the conscientious choice to be around a man like Diddy, to the point to where Lil Rod knew you were hanging around him. Because you got to understand, Lil Rod was around Diddy for, what, over a year? So she had to have been around Lil Rod while he was around Diddy. That's how he was able to put these people in that lawsuit, whether it be Young Miami, whether it be Jade, whether it be you. He was able to put all of that together in his paperwork. And again, this could all be alleged. I'm not here to tell y'all to believe this or believe that, but we have to look at pattern of behavior, Daphne. And there's definitely a pattern of behavior comes to our uh, Diddy. Now this is her allegations here. She tagged 50. She says, everything is a joke to you until your safety is compromised which is happening now you are you are wrecking real havoc frenzy and chaos onto people's lives how would you feel if sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing now you see what she's doing here she's trying to blame 50 cent for what happened with diddy 
blaming everybody else is everybody else's fault. Not the fault. The fact that we're you're, you know, you're being named in this because Diddy refused to pay a producer who lived with him and worked on his music. But you want to blame 50 for that. That lets me know that that her being Diddy's paid concubine is probably true because she is deflecting. This is deflection. This is what deflection looks like. Why would you put your son into this? This is why he's going after you for custody. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son. And you saw him 10 times out of two years that we lived one mile away from you. I'm tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never earned again. Why hasn't she said anything? And don't tell me because she's being a good mom. This woman, this woman is about that bag. She care less about the whole, you know, being a great co-parent. Let's put the real focus on you, your, <laughs> on your true evil actions of assaulting her. She's talking about her and physically abusing her. So you are no longer my presser. And my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I have for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Again, this looks like deflection to me she is deflecting because she believes 50 cent is going to go after her for custody but i think that joy needs to understand something 50 has made a lot of money over the last couple of years and he's going to have very good lawyers and those lawyers are going to they're going to comb through everything and they're going to use that against you daphne and they're going to want to know where you're getting your money from they're going to go over your bank records they're going to look through everything, Daphne, and they're going to figure out whether you've been getting money from Diddy or not. And if it's found out that you're getting money from Diddy, they're going to be able to use that against you. And they're going to and he's going to be able to get full custody of Sire. So you're making defamatory statements about 50. 50 can easily prove whether these are true or not. You're going to have to prove whether it's true. Well, on 50's end, right, he could say, hey, produce documentation that I did these things to you. And if you can't produce it, they're going to throw it out. You're not going to be able to use that. The default for a lot of these women when they get caught doing some dirty, grimy things is they claim you abused them. You haven't said anything in years. You haven't said anything. You claim he's a bad father now, but why haven't you said anything? What was holding you back? You better hope that they don't find evidence that you've been receiving wire transfers from Diddy uh, because that's going to make you look even worse. And if you don't think that 50 Cent will treat you like he's treated some of these other people that he's had issues with, you're sadly mistaken. He will treat you the same way. The last time I believe he went to court with one of these, um, these helpers that he had issues with, I think he won in court. Look at what he did to Tierra Marie. So I hope you have your information together, your paperwork together, all your evidence that he's done these things to you. Because if you don't, you're, you could definitely lose custody because you're making defamatory state you make it defamatory thing that you're gonna have to prove and if you can't prove it, it's gonna make you look worse because now he's gonna treat you like some of these other women that he's dealt with and you don't want to be that in that situation he's not gonna let you come between him and this son he let his other baby mother come between him and his other son and daphne he's not gonna let you come between him and sire that's just not gonna happen so let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me your thoughts. Like this video and share. Follow me on Facebook, X, Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.